here. What's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Cardi here. I want to welcome you guys to a new video. Today we're going to be talking about NBA 2K20, my GM. We will go over into my league just a little bit, but for the most part, this video will be about my GM. Now you guys already know the goal. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Our goal today is 3,000 likes. And uh, I wanted to know, what do you guys think about the new setup? I know that you guys are used to the green screen and it's literally over there on the floor, but I wanted to actually bring a little bit something different to the channel um simply because i have this setup here i've had it for a while now and i barely use it i think the last time i used it was in like a headphone review video with my son so hopefully you guys enjoyed that but let's talk about my gm so i know what you guys are thinking all the hardcore my league players out there and even players who have played my gm in the recent years you're probably like i probably don't play no my gm why is he even talking about it why is this video even on his channel well, just to let you know, I am a person of comical situations. So I haven't made an association video, which turned into my league. And I haven't made a my GM video in years. I haven't made a video like that or done a series like that since Sam Hinkie was under like terror from the NBA. So I was thinking, why don't I try out my GM this year and go the Ben Simmons route? Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Why? And what does Ben Simmons have to do with my GM? Well, just to let you guys know, the Sixers just signed Ben Simmons to a huge contract. And I just want to know what happened behind the scenes and the decision to sign Ben Simmons. Not only that, can Ben Simmons hit a jump shot? Not only that, can the GM get Ben Simmons to actually shoot in the league? Now, let's get past all of that. Let's talk about the new news. We have something called My GM 2.0 coming to NBA 2K20. It is a total revamp of My GM 1.0, I guess it's called. Um, I don't know why they call it 1.0 and 2.0. I'm just here for the news. But in this revamp, it's so many crazy things going on. I'm actually going to take you guys over to Operation Sports and we're going to go through the post together so that you guys can get a clear understanding of everything that's going to be in the game as well as screenshots of certain things in my GM. Now, just to let you guys know, little disclaimer, this video will be more for the sim heads. If you don't know what a sim head is, if you're not as old as me, um, that's a group of players that play the video game as it's intended in the real NBA. They want to make the same decisions that a logical my GM would want to make as well as make the moves around the league for my league that the NBA would actually do. Not nothing outlandish like Take, for instance, the whole Anthony Davis trade, right? Now, that's not really something that would happen in the NBA too often, but now that they've seen something like that, they might think that that's a logical decision when ultimately teams that just don't destroy their franchises like that. But, of course, the Pelicans did have the first pick, so they got Zion. But let's go ahead and hop into the news. I know I'm boring all you guys out there. Let's get into it, Sim Heads. All right, guys, we are on OperationSports.com. It is time to talk about my GM, my league, and the entire franchise mode developer blog. So, basically, you guys see here highlighted. These are all the people involved with this actual developing of my GM and my league. And I can tell you guys right now, it's a full staff. Um, I know two names on this list. I don't know everybody else, but shout out to y'all. Let's go ahead and get into it. So check it out. Um, they are pushing the envelope where they're saying that they don't want to stay uh, steady. They want to kind of make everybody advance inside of the atmosphere of how it is to be played as far as my gm and my league goes so they're going to keep pushing the envelope they say so every year you guys can expect something new hopefully hopefully my gm 2.0 doesn't fizzle out because like i said when i make my uh little series i already know it's probably gonna be like a six episode or something like that until ben simmons hits his first three but i'm not even gonna talk about that right now because i'm i'm, I'm kind of cheesing i'm sorry but um check it out uh it says the my gm 2.0 overview it says the cornerstone of uh revitalizing new era of franchise dating back to 2k14 so basically you guys know 2k14 was one of the years where i said you know what let me try on my gm i did association of the year before it was pretty dope sam hinky was pretty off the rick the you know what i'm saying i made him go crazy but 
basically you guys see here that um the new storylines is present in 2k18 and 2k19 or something that some people are loving not many people that i hang around my circle of friends that i play with play my gym in my league but i do know one person in particular that does and he only does that from a my career standpoint and that's chase money basically what chase money was able to do was he was able to build out a my league make a player um play lock player lock on that player then build his team around them only up a couple attributes in there he didn't make a bomb squad he made it realistic and stuff like that and it was pretty dope because he was able to have his own jerseys and stuff like that he was able to take all the parts of my league that is there and make it his own for his own my career series so um make sure you guys go check out chase's my league um series it's pretty dope but um basically they're talking about how my gm is the new kid on the block um of course everybody loved my league because you can do more you know my gm is really a conversational based thing that's where you guys see my old school videos from years ago where i was you know uh hiding my voice and changing my voice with different voice changer apps and stuff like that i was just doing all kinds of crazy stuff but basically here's a quick overview of some of the new features action points scoring leaderboards which we definitely need to talk about scoring leaderboards is big um skills feature in the skill tree and an updated leveling structure completely new task system revamped relationships sponsors and branding that's going to be big we're going to talk about that as well so basically they're saying to everyone that if you get on 2k you definitely want to check out my gm even if it's for a season maybe just check it out why not me i already know i'm going to divulge all my time for the first like maybe september october november into my career into the park into rec into pro-am that's just where i'm gonna live i'm trying to get my player up to like 94 overall or 95 overall by that time um maybe 96 you, you never know but um here you guys go with the design philosophy um they said that they built it off of like a tic-tac-toe type thing where it was strategic but then after a while it got boring and they're actually admitting to the game mode getting boring after time but now they're saying that they revamped it so much that it should not get boring after uh, a bunch of different changes that you make a bunch of different things that happen within the game but here goes the action points and overview this is basically a real screenshot of the game how you guys will play in my gm which is pretty good um it says this is new shot of my gm landing page it's it's a lot of information guys we're going to be moving pretty quickly the link to this article will be inside the description again shout out to operation sports and the, and the team over there steve knows one of the homies i've known him from years and uh he always be hooking me up with some uh good old info about um like codes and stuff like that that's coming out and why is my phone going off i thought i was on do not this disturb but now i am so uh basically what they're saying is you know for all the newbies and stuff out here that's going to be playing this you just have to learn what the new landing page is going to look like as far as tasks go and stuff like that you see where you can say chit chat with a scout head uh chit chat with a assistant coach chit chat with the head coach you could change the staff around you know the coach literally gives you tasks on what you need to do um there's even a screenshot a little bit below that you're actually talking to the cfo which is really really dope if you guys don't know what a cfo is i'm sorry i can't help you <laughs> but um so scoring leaderboards this is something that is huge um this entire section is huge um let's go ahead and come back up so basically what they're saying is the way my gm will work this year is you'll actually be competing against other users that play my gm there is now a leaderboard for my gm and the way you play and the points that you earn that goes global so this won't be just you playing my gm just for the heck of it you'll actually be going up against other people to earn a spot on those leaderboards as far as it goes see it says easy monthly that means that there are different difficulty settings within my gm that you could choose when you start out your my gm and it says this is a month to month uh thing you see rock and roller number one spot he has the warriors he's already cheating he probably kept kd and you know a couple other things but we're not even gonna talk about that and uh man come on man you in the 73rd place with my sixes bruh come on sal the old one what's wrong with you you doing you ain't doing us the right type of justice man but um basically it gives you the early look at the leaderboards and everything like that 
um it, it tells you all about the leveling and stuff like that it says each save starts from level one no matter what um you can just build off of that um let's see now you see you gain experience by making the team better of course when you complete your tasks when you win games of course everything will fall in line as you complete your goals throughout the season and seasons you know in the future but of course each save will end up around level 20 so that'll be that now the skill tree that's something totally new inside of my gm 2.0 like i told you guys in the beginning it was one of the overview features um basically it's a brand new skill set tree and one thing it has of course is leadership diplomacy insight finance and for facilities i'm sorry i almost botched that but basically it gives you a different type of path on how you want to be a, a gm now of course knowing me i would love to play the leadership role but also i would definitely want to play that finance role because i don't want to run my actual organization into the ground i wouldn't want to do that and of course you guys see here it's all about the bottom line it's about improving the revenue signing players and the less and gain additional sponsorship slots so what i will want to do is i will want to sign some great players get us a couple playoff runs we don't have to win a title in the first season you know get us a couple players to give us that playoff run doing good you know of course like maybe 60 percent wins during the season maybe 70 if you could do that if you could stretch that out and then get them sponsors for the team and it's, it's all about the the way that the team looks now of course if you want that leadership role that's where it's going to come down to actually giving your team boost when you're playing games you know building trust around people so people don't do things behind your back to just make the entire organization crumble and i believe i would probably go with the leadership role honestly because i i don't i don't want two years later we end up trying to start tanking <laughs> yeah i'm saying but uh here you guys go with the my gm 2.0 revamped relationship so basically it's all about the relationships that you have inside of my gm you guys see here that you know the coach's game plan menu and stuff like that you have all of these things to your uh how should I say, at your disposal that you can go into the whole entire organization and change things up, ask your coach, why don't we try this strategy, you know, why don't we build something from scratch, see what see what works, you know what I mean? Also, another thing, um, they said that they definitely realized that, you know, the six man wanting to be a starter, just him keep coming to the office talking about, hey, can I be a starter? Hey, can I be the starter? Me, myself, I would have made that boy a towel boy. But that's just me. I just sent him to the G League ASAP. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know how I get it down when I'm a GM. But um, also, they have the revamp goals and tasks, like I said. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Matthew Davis is a CFO. Um, and he's basically saying, I've been seeing too many empty seats in the arena. Let's get our attendance to be the top in the league. So if you're not earning any uh, seats or people to come to your games obviously your team is doing trash so if you're in a leadership goal and you have to trust everybody around you to play games and win games and stuff like that you're gonna be on a grind you're gonna have to play every single game for like maybe 20 games straight and blow teams out <laughs> in order to start getting people to sit in your seats you have to make somebody average 35 points on your team you have to make somebody get a triple double on average on your team you have to go get westbrook asap I mean, you know, I'm just saying, you just gonna have to go get Westbrook, man. But uh, check this out. They're also saying that, like I said in the beginning, everyone is welcome. Everybody should come and try out my GM. They want you guys to try out my GM 2.0. Like I told you guys, I'll probably make a six episode series on YouTube. It's not gonna come out day one. It'll probably come out like December, January time. You know what I mean? It'll give me something else to do, even though that'll be like all or almost around the time that you know half the NBA season is done. Because of course, trade deadline is in February, so All Star Weekend is around that time. Half the league will already be done. But if I do carve out any time in the beginning of the year on 2k whereas though i can sit down and record a couple episodes real fast i might do so but just wait on that but um they also have the additional my league level features but basically this is like everything that you guys need to know more just it's, it's a whole bunch of information here man it's so much stuff that you guys will want to read in this article and that's why i say please use the link inside the description to make sure you guys get all the info and check out steve noah big head what's up bro what up steve i hope you're watching this man but um 
I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get back on cam real quick so we can go ahead and wrap this video up. Oh my goodness. Um, that was a lot of info. Whew. Um, one thing that I can say is the dev team for my GM in my league, y'all do a lot. I ain't even gonna stunt. Y'all do a lot. That's, that's just too much. I can't even begin to fathom what I'm gonna be doing in my GM, but I promise you guys, I will make that series on my channel. You know what? Spam up the number one inside the comment section if you think I should do a my GM series revolving around Ben Simmons. But I'm not gonna keep you guys any longer. I wanna thank you for watching. Make sure you guys hit that like button. By the way, on Twitter, I'm about to hit 100K followers. Thank you everybody who's following me on Twitter. And we are on a road to 100K on Instagram. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram as well. Links will be below, but I'm gonna highlight you guys in the next video. Peace. Yeah. You can't watch this whole video without subscribing.